all right guys in today's video i'm going to show you how we can use use params that i have told in your into the last video that i will tell you about use params in the next video and in the previous video i showed you that uh, how we can use react router dom so just let me show you once again for a quick reminder that how we did that and uh, into my code base you can see we just imported this package react router dom and we just imported some components like browse router as router and and this is written for two times so just remove that so browse router as router switch route redirect so what router does router is a parent component the inside of that we use switch the switch is used for switching the routes on different different components so you can into the route you can define your components and what switch that switch just you uh, work here just like we use in if else condition switch case so just like that these are the case and this is the switch method which is that so you're gonna find that route whatever you will put into your route uh, url bar like over here let me show you over here whatever you will put over here it's gonna find into that uh, switch and it will find the cases over here just like this route route and it will find the route over here and it's gonna redirect you your component on that specified route so that's the how we did that and now i'm gonna do some more thing to show you how we can use use param over here so just let me type use params okay so the first thing we need to do we need to do just on which component we're gonna use that hook use param hook so use param hook is a component that gonna imported from react router dom so before that what we need to do if we why we use use param use param is a speciality of react that you can pass any value into your route let's suppose how we pass we pass query parameter just like this into any route uh, just like this let's suppose be uuid or equals to something that uh, then this buid is a key and this whatever i have written over here this is the value so that's how this is the query parameter works but uh, in the use param if you want to assign a value a pass a value on that on that route so if you want to do just like that you have a, a tag and into that a tag you want to pass a value into that route so what how you can do just do slash colon and type over here param so this is how we can pass a value into that route so what param does param is a variable where, which assign that you're gonna pass a something value or something whatever you want to pass you can just define over here just like that param and what we're gonna do so where we have defined this param in the my new app component so if into the my new m component what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna import import from react router dom okay so what i'm gonna import from react router dom so just type use params okay so we will import use params from react router dom and what we want to do now just type const param and equals to use params okay so what we are doing we are destructuring param from use param so let me check the spelling if I return that, yeah, it's okay. There's param, and you need to destructure this constant value, whatever you will assign over here. So this is the key parameter. 
whatever you would type if you type over name over here so this gonna be key of your value so i am putting param over here so you need to destructure param into that component and now i'm gonna console that console dot log param and make sure one thing that this route doesn't gonna work if you haven't described the param into that route because after slash it won't take a value whatever you will assign over here and uh, into that value if you, you value have been given by you then this route gonna work otherwise it gonna it won't gonna find that component because it makes a complete route because if you have passed query parameter it won't gonna affect anything you can just type slash calculator it's gonna make you enter this mini web component but if you are using use params so it gonna you need to assign a value after this slash calculator so let me show you how it works and okay so if we are just putting calculator now over here so you can see nothing on an error you can see it's giving us error cannot read property path name of undefined and if i'm slash i'm putting any random value and i'm clicking on that you can see we have got simple calculator ui and into that console i can show you that whatever i've written over here into the param and it's console it's logging that value and you can see that so let me show you where this getting log so you can see it's logging at console dot log param so where i'm logging this i'm logging into over here you can see at the line number seven console dot log param again let me refresh this into that console you can see that value again okay and if i change this value let me type puppy shake and if i click on that you can see this component gonna render in any case whatever you will assign but this should work but you need to assign a value over here doesn't matter whatever you are you need to make the check over here that uh, if param is contain param contain this value then this component should render and return this all the ui if there's nothing into this param then it won't gonna render so now what we're gonna do so this is the use case of use params but uh, let me show you one more example so we are going to use that param into comp one so what we're gonna do this is and uh, let me do again uh, let's copy paste use param from here control c and control v and what one what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do just see that const param equals to use params okay and what i'm gonna do related to param i'm i'm gonna print that param onto my ui okay so just see that uh, let me assign that param into this also so where we are entering component over here so just a param type just like this and if i will just remove this and hit enter you can see it not gonna show you anything it's gonna throw the error you need to make a check for that that uh, if there's nothing route defined into the routing structure then you can redirect uh, to another page or something whatever you want to do you can just define a component in the else condition that if there's no route then you can just render on that component so that we can do but i will tell you if i will make a project or something then i will show you everything the how all the thing get bind up and how things work but let me focus on that if you type slash you can see nothing gonna work but i will type if i will type a name 
like this and if you see you can see this is compound related to Abhishek Kuma so you whatever I will type over here it's gonna render on the UI you can see whatever I'm typing over here and let me walk control Z okay and whatever I will type over here it's gonna render on the UI so this is the use case of use params and this is pretty easy and very simple that it how it works and in the next video me okay sorry in the next video i will tell you about how uh, history works use history works and that is also most important thing that you should know about that history what the what history does history just save the last route whatever you have defined and this is i'm gonna tell you into the next video what history does, use history does but uh, for this video till then tata bye bye and if you have learned something from this just please like the video and make sure subscribe the channel if you're new on this channel because i'm gonna get the some more projects and that are very valuable no one gonna show you into the on the youtube or else but this is a very important project so i'm gonna tell you step by step everything so make sure you subscribe the channel and let me know in the comment section whatever you learn if you have faced any problem please let me know and you can directly ping me on instagram or facebook link in the description and if you want this if you want to see this code you can just visit my github profile link in the description just down below thank you so much guys Tata, bye bye see you in the next video